A number of winter weather and lake effect snow alerts have been issued for parts of western New York. We're tracking your latest forecast. And with all the snow that fell in the south towns the past few days, hundreds of people came out to Ralph Wilson Stadium to help dig out for tomorrow's game against the Jets. Plus, a number of local officials sworn into office today will introduce you to one new judge who's making history in West Seneca. Well, good evening and Happy New Year. We're just two days into 2016, and so far the year, this new year, filled with some winter weather. This is a look at how the road conditions are along the 198 over this past hour. This taken by our photojournalist, Franco Ardito, who has been monitoring the roads using a dashboard mounted camera right there. We're not showing any snow at the moment, but the roads are indeed slick. They're going to likely get worse this evening. We've heard reports of a number of accidents around western New York due to the slippery conditions, but none appear to be serious at this time. Storm Team 2's Kevin O'Neill is up on the roof for us tonight with a look at the latest on the forecast. Kevin? Yes, I'm not the only uh, red coat up here as well. I have a little company, as a matter of fact. There are three weather bulletins to tell you about. And again, you know, two of these are advisories, and the one is a more serious warning. And again, these are not issued by me. These are the brilliant men and women at the National Weather Service that issue these. And then it's my job as a broadcast meteorologist to relay and explain them to you. So let's go. With the start of your current temperatures, and notice how we're around.